do you know how expensive an 80 inch TV would be? Here's how you can get one for way cheaper. All you need is a giant blank wall, a mini projector, a tripod for a stand, and speakers if you want to have nicer sound. So you can see the speakers here, there's two of them, plus there's also a subwoofer as well for even more full sound. And there's the mini projector with the tripod that I'm using for this. The mini projector that I got does have a tripod mount on the bottom. And so just, ex I extended the tripod up and everything and set it up and then mounted the mini projector onto the top of it just by screwing it on. Most probably have that mount, it's a pretty standard mount. And then I plugged the speakers into the headphone um, audio output port on the projector itself. So it's just a nice wired connection. And then those speakers there will make good sound. Uh, then you can see on the giant wall there, it projects really well. This is like four foot by eight foot, basically, that is projecting onto the wall. And with this one specifically, even with the light on, you can still see the picture. But when you turn the light off, the picture is very vivid. It's quite impressive. Even when transmitting just over Wi-Fi, of course, there's going to be some latency. There's going to be a decent amount of lag, but the quality doesn't really suffer since it's using Wi-Fi Direct. And you can see inside of the projector how there's the uh, projection part there upside down. And then there's the lens, and then it projects it out. But this is just an LED projector, so there's the LCD in there with a the really bright LED behind it. And it's projecting really well. And the uh, black point on this is like really low. The contrast is really good. You have to be a few inches away from the wall to see the border. If you have it displaying black, it's impressive.